Well, here we are at Florida Gulf Coast University talking today about what works in particular, evidence-based responsiveness. So we're particularly interested in what are the therapy relationships that work in general. But as we all know, we want to know what works for the particular client or patient sitting in front of us in this particular hour. So we've been studying this with a series of meta-analyses over the last decade. It is what every clinician knows in his or her heart that no treatment works for every client, and what works for one may not necessarily work for the other. In research, this is known as Gordon Paul's iconic question in a famous 1967 article about psychotherapy outcome. What treatment by whom is most effective for this individual with that specific problem? Now, generation one of matching or responsiveness was to match a particular treatment method to a particular disorder. So we'd say interpersonal therapy for depression or cognitive behavioral therapy for anxiety. But only doing so, it's now clear from the research, is not always effective, and it's certainly incomplete. Instead, generation two or three of matching or treatment adaptation is adapting to the transdiagnostic features of the individual patient in his or her singular context. That is, we are matching to the entire person of the client, not simply defined by a nosological entity or a pathological condition. Actually, we've known this for years. Sir William Osler, the father of modern medicine, wrote in the early 1900s, it is much more important to know what sort of a patient has a disease than what sort of a disease a patient has. So more than 200 potential matchmaking variables have been um, promulgated over the years, and about 100 of these have some research attention. My colleagues and I in psychotherapy relationships at work conducted meta-analyses to determine which of these patients' transdiagnostic features or characteristics lead us into doing something different. So rather than simply saying as a political slogan, I individualize or personalizing counseling, specifically, how do you do that? Well, the cumulative research shows that reactance level, stages of change, patient preferences, coping style, culture, and religion, spirituality are great client markers to tell you to do something different. Now, time prohibits me from going into detail what you would do differently, but we can systematically assess these client features, and then we can do something different. In other words, research can tell us how to create a new therapy for each patient. Dr. John Norcross, on behalf of all the counselors of the state of Florida, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure, Carlos. Thank you for having me. Thank you.